Hi, we're Hudost. Welcome to the Stop Show. This evening's performance is us really in our most naked, stripped down form as a duo and being far more acoustic than usual. So, acoustic. Acoustic. We actually call it neo folk world rock because it's such a wide array of different styles. A lot of my training was classical and Eastern European. I was with a a couple different groups that primarily focused on Eastern European music. I was also able to study in Turkey and in India. I'm also a total Canadian. I'm from Tennessee. I was born in Tennessee and I was raised in Florida. So there was a big punk scene in the 80s in Gainesville, Florida. I, I'm a kind of an instant gratification guy. So I wanted to be in a band, so what better way to start? You know, don't have to learn anything. or You can just turn up the amps and uh, get a bunch of pedals and make make noise. I was born at the hospital in Cowansville. I'm a total town shipper. We actually met at a festival in North Carolina. It was a Rumi festival, who's the Persian poet. Um, and it was a wild festival of busloads of crazy Turks who all became our friends. <laughs> so um, wonderful, really wonderful people. And it was a whole celebration of poetry, of music, of dance. And so that was sort of the point where I guess there were the first inklings of love and also, you know, creative connection. Oh, 
I went from the punk thing to more like, at some point in, in the middle of that, I became a deadhead for a while. So um, the whole psychedelic music scene kind of brought it more into the, the jamming, uh, improvising aspect of things. As Who Dosed, it's, we're approaching our 10 year. This is our 10th year. Yeah, this is, our, this is it. This is our first show of our 10th year. So this is our 10th anniversary year as a band. We're the benevolent dictatorship that's the core. So <laughs> we often, I mean, we have a lot of the same musicians involved, but we work with a lot of different people and it'll be kind of different formations at different times. So we're the, we're the completely psychotically committed core members of it, so. Your lifetimes drift on by Don't you hear the rolling thunder It's just the clear light lullaby Well, those visions don't you know Cause you trouble where you go Tribulation everywhere But one day you'll rise above there And when you hear the clear light prayer Try to wake up, holy hope, let your lifetimes drift on by. Don't you hear the rolling thunder? It's just the clear light lullaby. Yeah. When those visions they break, just like hail falling down, like we're breaking on. Drift on by Don't you hear the Rolling thunder It's just the clear light Lullaby to reform You begin to breathe again You'll be on your way to rebirth Born into the world of men Try to wake up Holy hobo Let your lifetimes drift on by Don't you hear Try to wake up, holy hobo. 
Let your lifetimes drift on by Don't you hear that rolling thunder It's just a clear light lullaby It's just a clear light lullaby It's just a clear light lullaby L'équipe de l'émission Stop tient à remercier les commanditaires suivants pour leur appui financier. Les services financiers ARB ont l'expertise nécessaire pour tous vos besoins de tenue de livre, rapport d'impôt, TPS TVQ, État financier et services de paye. Ralph Bushenbaum et Benoît Carrier sont là pour vous. 450-292-5835. Universal worship is the honoring of all faiths. And you can only do so many within a five-minute window. So, this is the first phase. We need it right now. How many of you um, allow yourself to suffer by watching the news or listening to the news? This world needs some definite universal worship and coming together.
through our website and through CD Baby 2 and we're also on iTunes. We have a lot of albums already out and then the two that we've been working on, one of them it's going to be printed and out very soon. It's a record with uh, Steve Kilby, a collaborative record from, he's the, uh, the primary songwriter and bass player and singer of the band The Church from Australia. It's been a very long but creative process and we also have a uh, John Anderson from Yes which is very exciting, um, who co-wrote one of the songs and singing on it. Strangely, my first Yes album was 90125 in 1983, with Owner of a Lonely Heart. I was a teenager when that song came out, and I bought it and ate it up, and then when I started getting in the Grateful Dead and the whole psychedelic period of my life, that's when I started going back. They became one of my you know, hugest influences, especially, you know, John and I'm not a bass player, but if I was, I would want to play like Chris Squire, you know. John was really wonderful to work with, too. Not in a standard human way. We actually genuinely think he may be of the elf world. <laughs> and then the other thing that is going to be released soon speaking is... Speaking of direction. Speaking of direction, yeah, is our what we're calling our Sufi Kirtan um, World Chant Project. It's the integration of, of sacred phrases from a few different traditions, and. Uh, we've written the bulk of the melodies and the arrangement. That's the other album that's um, going to be coming out actually in the next several months. We're still in the studio with that album, so. We're going to call it Sufi Kirtan. <laughs> As to die, as God be. Oh, 
Merci, merci. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're happy to have you with us this evening. We hope to see you again.